yes, as you saw, we had another failure. <clears throat> we were just going around in practice. Oh, you'll make it. You'll make it. You're all right. And the MGUH failed. So we got a new MGUH for this session. And unfortunately, before the race, we're going to have to take a new internal combustion engine. Because that's failed as well. Well, it's failing, shall we say. So at some point this season, we are going to be taking a penalty. We don't know when, but we're going to be taking a penalty. Anyway, you probably noticed on the laptop, welcome to Belgium. Well, what there is a Belgium. And uh, before we get started, let's hear from our uh, official Emma. Hey, how are you? I have some information on the race goals you should keep in mind. Well, that looks pretty easy. Just got to beat Sebastian. Right then. <clears throat> we better go get qualified and uh, see what happens. One of the mightiest tracks on the Formula One calendar. Long straights, up and downhill, a rouge as well. This track isn't for the faint hearted. Ooh, no. Bloody hell, it's Kimmy smiling and cracking a laugh. Julian. Fairline. Just how much of it are you willing to take? You're constantly balancing the car on the edge of grip from braking and the traction. And over the course of a lap, it's easy to get that balance wrong. And that's why achieving the perfect lap is almost impossible. And I have a quote. It looks like they're right again. And it never gets any easier. Right then. One thing I did not do. During practice, which I should have done, I like to do uh, Belgium with a bit more speed, so I can go down uh, the main, the uh, back straight. So we'll put a bit more speed on the car. <clears throat> which is what I'm going to do. You read my mind, Jeff. I always forget to do that. Right then. Into the new bus stop. And we are on our way. Through the source and now to the most terrifying, what was the most terrifying corner in the world, that is. Whew. Maybe a scarier corner than Ouge. It's just not possible to name a scary... The car will understeer through uh, that hairpin. I forgot what that's called. I know what that corner's called, though. That is the corner with no name. Although I think they started to call it the age. Here's another scary corner. Put on. Pretty much flat out through Puon now in modern day F1 cars.
we've got to get the exit of that corner right so you've got the long 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 oh bit wide there didn't need that all right can we set the benchmark We're slower than Kimmy! In fact, we're slower than both Ferraris, that's worrying. So we gotta go again. wall comes up on you pretty quickly there at uh, Liège. Through Pouan. Car tried to wash wide with oversteer. So instantly we have a much better lap. I think that little spin out at, uh, I think that was Stavolo. There's only three corners I know for sure. The bus stop here. That's better. Much better lap that time. Looks like Alonso was having a good qualifying session then. Uh, well, I spoke too soon. Duh! It's not too bad. So, out of Q1, who do we lose then? Do we lose Alonso again? Yes, why not? Along with sights, oh that's shocking. Palmer, Ericsson and Verline. Hmm. <clears throat> Could be a struggle for the Renaults around here. <clears throat> right then. Q2. I think we're gonna go contra strategy here. Then we're gonna go soft. I don't know why, but I just want to. I have that feeling. Of course, it is one of the classics in the Ardennes Forest, his uh, spa. Right then, let's go for a lap. We'll start off with La Sauce. You want to get the car towards the apex. Try not to touch the apex on the outside. The bump in the road will uh, help the car out in the middle. Now Eau Rouge and Radion. Through Eau Rouge, Radion's right there. 
onto the Kemmel straight, get the DRS open, and now it's time for Lake Coombe, or Lake Gom. Oh, let's car back slid through Le Com now through Malmody. Down to the Brussel hairpin. And now the corner with no name. As Perez sets a good benchmark. Now the double left at Pouot and a little confidence lift through the corner. Look at that. I think that was a campus chicane. In fact, the whole section was campus. Now through Stavolo onto the Paul Ferrer straight. Well, it's not really a straight, it's just a long corner. Now Blanchemont. Blanchemont, the wet is scary. For a modern F1 car, it's nothing. And then finally the bus stop chicane. I think that was a little shabby that lap. Might have to go again. In fact it was very shabby, so we are gonna have to go again. I think most of the time we lost was in the Lake Comshire game. I see a lot better through Lake Com. I know. Car slid through Poo on. <laughs> Don't want to be doing that too often. Set a purple sector too, so that's good to know. Now, can we make up a lot of time on the way to Blodgemont? Get the car turned in nice. There we go. That was nearly a worry. But look at that, we're two seconds, nearly a second and a half faster in the middle sector. That's why we're making our timer. I didn't notice that Lance Stroll got into the Q2. But uh, quickly eliminated, along with uh, Kvyat, Magnus, and Grosjean and Massa. Remember that Renault that was struggling earlier? Yeah, shut my mouth. Uh, I know what I was talking about. Only one on the Super Softs tomorrow. That's going to be interesting. Right then. First thing I've got to do is not check the setup, because you can't check the setup. First thing I've got to do is check my engine. And actually, it was the setup I needed to go to.
Oh no, I see a free. Has it gone a hundred percent? Oh, you're joking. So I'm gonna have to put a new IC. You're joking. Right, well, we better go to the track. Well, that was unexpected. I actually thought they'd replace the engine. As we wind down from the excitement of qualifying, here's a look at your top three. Fettel, Raikkonen and Lewis Hamilton. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted to the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Well, that sucks. Oh well, suppose we better go and uh, get some sort of payment. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be some sort of payment. Ooh, everyone went down a little bit there. Didn't uh, need that, but then again, I'm staying with McLaren for a while, aren't I? Oh, come on then, Nems. We were disappointed there. What do you got? Hi, it's Emma here. Just wanted to let you know what the team are hoping for in the race. So we got to finish 12th and finish in front of Vettel. Okay, that might be hard from 10th on the grid, but you never know in this race. Let's see if they've replaced the engine now. And they did. So I've got a new ICE, and this ICE has to now last the rest of the season. And that ain't gonna happen, is it? <clears throat> That MGUK has to last the race, and then I'll get a new one. I think that uh, should happen. But, uh, yeah, you never know. Might not, it might. Oh well. We're in 10th. Let's go uh, get this race started. Anthony Davidson is alongside me in the commentary box to take you through all the action today. Now it's a closely matched field here at Spa Rant. So where do you think we're going to see somebody make a difference? If they're as close as we're expecting them to be, especially through the midfield, then being able to keep the front tyres in good position could make a difference. That's not Vettel. Nor is that. That might be Vettel. Now, too much damage there could force an early pit stop and put you at a slight disadvantage. So the drivers will want to be careful not to be too aggressive early on in the Grand Prix. Well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position, and Kimi Raikkonen completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Bottas, Max Verstappen, and Perez, Ocon, Ricciardo, Hülkenberg, and a McLaren, Massa, Grosjean, Lance Stroll, and Magnussen, Fiat, Sainz, Fernando Alonso, and Julian Park, Verlaine, and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Yes, let's head down to the track. I tell you what, these super softs aren't going to last very long.
Okie dokie. Suppose we better go and uh, get racing, hadn't we? You see that? We already had to take to the grass. And we've been removed from the formation lap. Why not? Because of him. So now we've got to sit here and we've got to wait. It's a long wait for this lot. We could be here sometime, folks. be here a really long time. <laughs> ah, here they come. Finally. We still have to wait long for people to get here. Right. So we're just waiting now for five red lights. <laughs> it's lights out and away we go! Oh yes, let's do that. That was a good move around the outside of Massa. Let's see that again. Now that, this wing damage is going to be like ultra slow through, uh, yeah. I haven't got the speed proof poo on. Well 
And that's into the campus corner, we got him. That move set up in Lafania. And we overtake Esteban. Ocon to Ogon. Let's see if we can do something about Danny Rick. First thing we're going to do, well, it's going to repair the wing. It's got to repair the wing, hasn't it? I didn't realise the control electronics were that bad. I'm hoping the control electronics make it to the end now. Said it would. Now we're going to be racing around on our own for a little bit. Well, maybe not. Uh... Oh, the control electronics might not make it. I hope they do. Come on, control electronics. Don't look at him. So we've got the slower tyre on, but we should make the end of the race now. Oh, I can't help but not look. Control electronics are not going to make it. struggle today aren't we
another new wing. Right then. Let's see where we can finish. Sorry, let's correct that. If we finish. But I think those control electronics jump that high when, oh dear, when, uh, what's his name, put us in the wall. Oh, we've lost Raikkonen! Now we got Bottas in front of me. Do that you but the Bottas looks woefully slow. Doesn't he? Bottas looks woefully slow. Might not have the time to pick out all these passes, so we'll just go with the best ones.
Well, this is a good start into Campus Corner. The struggling Bottas. And a clean pass as well. Oh look, it's Grosjean. Surely not Alonso into Eau Rouge. That pass was nuts. Alonso into Eau Rouge. And he gave me a love tap, but just for good measure as well. And how about just for good measure? A clean pass on Grosjean. Well, sorry, a clean pass on Grosjean with DRS as well. That is 16th. Who we got here? We've got Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Ocon. It, it's basically a mess. Sorry, look at this run out of Stavolo. So we nearly get Hulkenberg, but then we do get Hulkenberg and we get Ocon as well. <clears throat> we thought about Magnussen then. Let's get Magnus into the bus stop. Sorry, allow me to correct myself there. Let's get Magnuson and Ericsson in the bus stop. Oh, there are cars pitting here. And we're, well, believe it or not, we're into the points. Don't ask me how we're in the points. As is Pascal Verlein. Get out of the way, Massa. So there goes a piece of my wing. I'll be the third wing I need then. But then we get a piece of Massa as well. 
He didn't like that very much. Oh, good lord, did we get him? What is he doing? Right then, you're in the bus stop. I was asking the question, what was he doing? And I think we knew what he was doing. Going very slowly. We're now into sixth position. You wouldn't believe this, I think I see the podium ahead. Well, there's the leader. I think we're not even going to entertain the leader. Vettel's out! I can't overtake him. Can now. So we're going to see that move from Verstappen. Because Ricardo was done. But I caught him napping. Oh, that's wide. Didn't need that. So, with Vettel out... I am fighting Perez for the, po for the second place on the podium. And Perez, he's obviously wanted to keep second place on the podium. So much so, he's banged into the side on me. Right, I don't care now, I've got to nurse this car home. This car has got to be nursed home now.
Hamilton will win this race. Unless the worst happens to Hamilton. Yes, we cut the corner there a little bit. We'll get new control electronics for... Uh, Monza. We might be crossing the line of fumes. Hamilton's just won the race. And uh, even after three pit stops, or well, however many it was. Why third? Excuse me, hello, I've crossed the line second. Yes, they are. I still want to know why we finished third and not second. Perez with the biggest grid in the world. And after, and after this, this round of the world championship, championship here's, here's how things look in the driver's table. table. Why did I have a 10 second penalty? Now that Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I'm going to say Carlos Sainz. It was probably one of his best drives this season and I was thoroughly impressed. On to the constructors then. We saw a dip in form from the championship leaders today. Their lead has taken a significant blow. There'll be plenty more twists and turns to come this season. I hope you can join us at the next race to see just who will come out on top. I want to know why we had a 10 second penalty. I didn't see anything come up. Oh well. But yes, thoroughly deserved driver of the day for Carlos Sainz. And I would, it was close between Sainz, Kvyat and Magnussen, I think. But what did it say? Spa always throws up a surprise. There's your surprise. And here's another one, Bottas 13th. Oh, Raikkonen and then. In fact, both Ferraris didn't finish. That's something for Sauber to take away. Right, what's the damage? Uh, the damage is uh, Hamilton gains a little bit, but we're still way out in front, which is good. 
and uh, the gap shrunk to Ferrari who had a double DNF a double DNF incredible <coughs> right then I believe it's time to go and get um, paid I'll just leave that there for a little bit. <clears throat> hmm, fair enough. Yeah, all right then, we'll take this. That's all good and well. And it's just started raining. <laughs> <clears throat> so then. We are going to head off now. Off to uh, Monza, I believe. Have they changed the... Yeah, they changed the control electronics. So at some point we will be uh, taking a penalty, which I'm not uh, particularly happy about, but uh, until that happens, thank you all very, very much for watching. Um, we're happy with second place, I think, uh, and we'll gladly see you uh, side by side into the next corner, wherever that next corner might be. <laughs> <laughs>